As we celebrate Black History Month here in Independence, we want to recognize Harry Truman's contribution to civil rights legislation while he was president. President Truman transformed the U.S. military and paved the way to an important conversation about race in our country. In June of 1947, Truman addressed the NAACP at the Lincoln Memorial. He is the first president to address the NAACP. He said in that address, it is my deep conviction that, that we have reached, reached the turning, turning point, point in the long, in the long history, history of our country's efforts to guarantee freedom and equality to all our citizens. In February of 1948, Truman addresses Congress outlining his civil rights legislative program. In July 1948, he made one of his most important executive order decisions. Executive Order 9981. This was the President's Committee on Equality of Treatment and Opportunity in the Armed Forces. This is where he integrated the armed forces for the first time in our country. The order states, it is hereby declared to be the policy of the President and that there should be equality of treatment and opportunity for all persons in the armed service without regard to race, color, religion, or national origin. This policy shall be put in effect rapidly as possible, having due regard to the time required to effectively and necessarily make the changes without appearing efficiency or the morale of the military. Executive Order 9981 was incredibly controversial, and he made the decision in an incredible time in his legacy. He made the decision in the heat of the 1948 election. As we all know, he was an incredible underdog. He went against the grain, and he actually made this decision. Truman wrote in response to his critics, I'm asking for equality of opportunity for all human beings. And as long as I stay here, I'm going to continue that fight. Executive Order 9981 remains one of the greatest accomplishments of Truman's eight years in office. The armed forces became an important model for desegregation and equal opportunities for African Americans in our country. As we move towards equality and justice, we can follow Harry Truman's legacy and leadership, where we continue to work for this important goal to move our country forward.